I, my father is like a diehard Neil fan. I grew up with him playing Neil Diamond songs, and he brought me to my first concert, which was Neil Diamond when I was four years old. Oh, really? The Mercedes-Benz Interview Lounge. One of the nicest guys, Nick Fradiani. Um, of course, you know, winner of American Idol back in the day, but now... Well, a, a big announcement. We'll leave it at that. Nick, welcome to the show. How you doing? I'm great. You know, several times uh, since we planned on you being here today, mm -hmm. I almost cracked and like announced it, but yeah. it, uh, it wasn't officially announced. It's not announced till today, right? Yeah. Well, this yeah, it's not announced till after this show, because I said Elvis, I want to announce my cool news on your show. Exactly. And you said okay. You have such great neck nuts. Like you should yeah. be doing radio. Like that voice I've, is just. Wait, what so... was I have? That's a what a visual. So yeah. like that's when you have like a great voice for radio. It's uh, like that deep voice, uh, neck nuts. Neck. Nuts. Well, you know it has to do with like <laughs> scrotum and stuff. Is yeah, that what it does? Say, oh. I mean, you don't know what you're talking about. Sorry, I, I, I take back your neck nuts. <laughs> no, well, no, no. Sorry to his girlfriend. Who's in the room. <laughs> oh my lord. I, I love it. Less than sixty seconds in, this whole thing is just about neck nuts. Going down a slippery slope <laughs> to hell. Yeah. This is Gandhi. You've never met Gandhi. This is my, yeah, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Yeah. I'm excited. Okay, so Nick Fradiani sent me a text and said, guess what? Uh, big announcement, and it is a big announcement. And I know you've been involved with this production, but mm -hmm. you're now going to be at the front. Mm -hmm. You want to tell everyone what you're doing? Yeah, sure. So, um, so yeah, starting October 31st, I'll be the lead in A Beautiful Noise on Broadway, which is the Neil Diamond musical, and I'll be playing Neil Diamond. Yeah! <laughs> Yeah. Congratulations. So Thank cool. you. This is cool. It is fun. It's been so I've I've been a part of the show now for a year and kind of uh you know, it's been a, it's been so much fun and and so now I get to do it just a whole lot more. So Okay, so let me tell you a couple of fun things about this situation. So Nick Fradiani has been involved as the understudy of the actor who played Neil Diamond for a year, right? right. So if ever you go to a Broadway show and you open up the playbill and that little white piece of paper falls out it says sorry the lead is <laughs> the lead isn't here tonight yeah. so uh, the part of Neil Diamond will be played by you're like oh crap and you, then you read it like, oh, Nick Fraudiani. Okay. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> I'd rather see Nick Fraudiani than the other guy. I did get that a couple times, but it's more confusion. They're like, wait, is that the guy from that show? Like, was it The Voice? Was it America's Got Talent? Like, yeah. it's, it's all of It's them. one of those, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so that's got to be weird because usually, and, and look, I, I love Broadway. We love musicals. And usually the understudy is someone who's up and coming and you may have not heard of mm -hmm. if you're not in Broadway circles. Mm hmm but this is a situation where for a year you were there and you were known albums, music. Right. So it's a, it's a little different. Yeah, it was it was a well I knew going into it kind of what it was. I I mean I it was 2021 the, the lockdown was still kind of going on and um, I, had, I had done a musical in 2019. I did a, a Bronx Tale mm -hmm. and I did the National Tour. So that was my first like learning about acting and taking classes and and uh, and I fell in love with it. So then I got an agent uh, for musical theater and I saw in 2021 an announcement that Neil Diamond musical was going to Broadway so I texted my agent I'm like this is it 30, they're looking for a 30 year old that could play the guitar 30 to 40 that could play guitar and sing with a baritone I'm like that's you know that's perfect they're looking for neck nuts yeah they're looking for those <laughs> neck nuts it's there. true a little, yeah. little gravel in there okay. and uh, so he said uh, unfortunately <laughs> unfortunately uh, you know the role's already been it's been in the works for like two years so um, but I just felt really I just felt like I was supposed to do it, and my my father is like a diehard Neil fan. I grew up with him playing Neil Diamond songs, and he brought me to my first concert, which was Neil Diamond when I was four years old. Oh, really? Sort of God. So I just okay. felt like there was some reason I should do it, and and I still had a lot to learn in terms of of my acting and musical theater. So I think doing this for a year has just really my experience has like gone. You know, it's like on a speed track of of learning about musical theater. This is yeah. very cool. Yeah. And, and I'll tell you, Neil Diamond, well, as old as I am, I grew up listening to Neil Diamond. <laughs> I mean, Neil Diamond's been a force for many years. Wait, yeah. Did your dad meet Neil Diamond? He didn't get to. He hasn't gotten to meet him yet. Okay. Um, but he's gonna. If freak. he does, he's gonna freak That's out. So oh cool. yeah. Like so, my dad's uh, very emotional. Right. So like for sure we'll start crying. Oh, like, we love a crying dad. He just had, my sister just got married and uh, he walked her down the aisle and it was like so ridiculous. I mean, <laughs> it, just <laughs> really crying heavy. And we're like, Dad, you got to smile. It looks like you're walking down a funeral procession. Nick, yeah. Nick's dad, by the way, is a su super sweet guy. Yeah. Great I met guy. him. I think he he came in with you one yeah, time. Yeah, he was he here did. once and he and, cried as I recall. <laughs> I always laugh about, I don't know if you remember this, but right after I won Idol, I was here and, and you were we were talking about how my dad, want, you know, want, he plays in our band a lot and he was like, 
and you said something along the lines of, "Well, now he's he's selling out the Boom Boom Room in Connecticut." <laughs> <laughs> Look at and that. To this day, he's always like, "Oh, Elvis thinks I'm playing the Boom Boom Room." You know? well, why not? <laughs> I, thought I just always a, thought that was a funny. Thought it was a name. compliment. <laughs> well, okay, so if you're just turning us on, Nick Fr- uh, Fradiani uh, is now going to star on Broadway as Neil Diamond, uh, "Beautiful Noise," and. I remember when this musical first came out, and I was like, "I got to go see it." And for some reason, never did. Mm-hmm. It was it depend, you know, everything. You know, mm-hmm. everything just kept me out out of mm-hmm. this 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 musical. Now I got to go see. You it. have to come. How so, about on Halloween? Actually, on Halloween, which is my first show as the as the lead, is dress up like Neil Diamond Day. So if you do come, oh, yeah. <laughs> we, I think we wow. should all, all of you guys should dress up like Neil, and we'll kind of have a vote as to who's what pulled it off. What a provocative <laughs> costume! <laughs> the, the all sequins, the ones. The neck nuts will be on. Neck nuts. Yeah. and neck nuts is important in That's, this role. A lot of low, low voice. You mm-hmm. need it. So okay, so when you play Neil Diamond, since I haven't seen it, so I can mm-hmm. learn from here. Do they want you to sound like him? Do they want you? I mean, do you do you act, did you take Neil Diamond lessons? Um, I didn't take Neil Diamond lessons, but I kind of gave myself Neil Diamond lessons by listening, and I kind of obsessed over it to try to sound like him as as much as possible. And he has interesting interesting phrasings when he sings, and um, so yeah, I kind of obsessed over it and got it to a place where. It sounds a lot like. What him. about like watching him? Like, did you sort of make it get his mannerisms and all that stuff? Does, yeah. that, does my Neil Diamond tell you. Ha- does he have mannerisms? Yeah, yeah. he okay. does. He's very um, well. He does have like a uh, a certain way that he talks, which is kind of like almost low with like a vocal fry, and he he says v- words very interestingly, and he kind of goes, you know. So so I really watched a bunch a bunch of videos of him from the time he was like twenties to forties, um, and like just watched a ton of interviews to get his talking voice down and then but the singing luckily I have a similar like timbre in my voice as as he does so I really just had to figure out the way in which he said the words in in He has this phrasing when he sings where he he'll hit a note and it, he'll drop it. He'll like yeah. he'll go love on the rocks. Yeah. Oh wow. <laughs> or, or, you know, I don't know. Hey. La, da, da, da. Love on the rocks. That was good though. Oh, I like just, oh my god, you just sounded like Neil Diamond. <laughs> or sweet Caroline. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you kind of have it. Down. I mean, he hits a note. I, I could be your understudy. I was going to say, yeah. it's like <laughs> Nick Fraudiani not here tonight, <laughs> playing the part of Neil Diamond, Elvis Duran. <laughs> ah, crap. <laughs> no, Re- I think people would pay a lot Re-fund of money to see that. To see that. I think that. we'd sell out every Re- night. Uh, who's this idiot playing Neil Diamond? <laughs> you know, it's so crazy. You're you're now in the show playing the guy who we all sing in the bars. You know, yeah. Sweet Caroline. Everyone screams it out. College parties, <laughs> you scream out that song. It's and really everything. crazy. I mean. It, it's funny what to, we do it in the show uh, a few times, and uh, it, it every night. I mean, people just get crazy over that song. Yeah. I mean, it, I think no, it's one of those songs. No matter where you are, you know, you, you just have to sing along to it. Now, Gandhi, not yes. as old as me. So Neil Diamond, has he ever been in your universe? I mean, you're um, familiar with who he is? Oh, of course. Right. I saw Saving Silverman. Yes. One of the funniest movies <laughs> ever. Movie. They were obsessed with Neil Diamond, if okay. you haven't seen it. Right. Um, but I have a question about being an understudy before you mm-hmm. were this lead role. Are you guys all friendly and you all get along and you're just like, yeah, kill it? Or do you secretly wish behind the scenes, like, oh, I hope they trip and fall and chip a tooth? <laughs> chip a tooth. <laughs> Nothing, you know, um, totally detrimental, but def- just like, hey. Right, a little, little ankle twist. <laughs> yeah. or something. Um, no, I mean. <laughs> Damn it. One day someone will. I mean, I don't <laughs> think so, but I mean, I think some people really want to go on and, and uh, but usually over the course of a year, like, you know you're going to be on a lot. I mean, I did, I was an alternate, so I was doing the show twice a week anyway, like had set dates and then, um, you know, it's a lot of work. So a lot of times they call out, uh, you know, once a week or twice a week. Now, this is the thing about doing a Broadway show that I, do, I don't get. I, I could not do that schedule because you do what, I'm assuming like eight shows a week. Yeah. And I signed on, like, I'm not having an alternate, so I'm doing it. I'm doing eight shows a week. Oh, wow. Are you mad? Yes. Honestly, I think I'm like a, like, I'm trying, yeah. You haven't even started yet. What? I'm going to try to talk you out of it. <laughs> I'm, I, I, this is a bad idea. I, like, talked it up in my head prior. I was like, I could do eight shows a week. And I have done eight shows a week in this show. Like, there's been times with COVID and with um, vacations where I've done it. So I know I could do eight shows a week one time. I'm just now figuring if I could do that for like oh a year. Oh my god! So you let's can. let's review this yeah. decision. Those no. neck nuts are going to be oh my really. Uh, yep. They're going to be <laughs> drooping. Give me a year, Sore. A year from they're going to be dragging the ground. Yeah. All right, so well, congratulations first of all. Thank you. I mean, in, in, you know, to be in the Broadway community in New York City is just yeah. pfft, it's so know, much fun. And COVID 
really frightened us as yeah. far as the Broadway community goes because we're not talking just actors and on stage we're talking about back of house front of house and so many people that are a part of the machine and a lot of them haven't come back yet i know and, but you're here this is great all right i so, finally got it too i got covid for the first time like three weeks ago congratulations thank you so much yes thank you and it was and it was speaking would you like, of understudies would you like it, was, it again i can no, give it to no, you right please. now I, okay. it was it was about an uh, 20 minutes before i was supposed to go on it was a thursday matinee and we started dropping like flies a little bit and uh oh, no. people were getting it. and then um i got it right before i was supposed to go on i finally tested and is there an alternate know. to the alternate there's an understudy to the alternate yeah. oh wow, wow. <laughs> that guy was like uh, what <laughs> i was asleep <laughs> <laughs> all right well okay so you brought the guitar i did or i have the I have the karaoke version. I don't know. I think we could do it. The guitar could be more by the like, way. A, uh, like we're sitting by the fire. You know, you something know? you may not have in the show. He had some of the. He had the, one of the best Christmas albums of all time. Oh, oh wow! The, I mean, the greatest Christmas album. You know, Jewish people have the best Christmas album. Yes. <laughs> Barbara, Barbara Streisand, uh-huh. Neil Diamond, Adina Menzel. Has Adina a Menzel. Yeah. I know. <laughs> Oh, anyway, got, oh, oh, look at all these microphones. Oh, my God. Be your vocal right but, so I don't know how to... Don't hit him in the head with the microphone. I know, Jesus. Scary, scary. don't knock too. his tooth out. Well, I'm, I'm only singing... <laughs> I'll sing like the first, but you guys have to join in for the chorus. Okay. Least, well, right? no, no problem there, okay. Nick. <laughs> um, I don't have a good Scary, I don't know what button to push. How do you work this thing? I don't know. This is so... What is this? All these buttons. What is that? That's this Oh my God. The other cool thing about this show is that uh, I get to play uh, these all these different Gibson acoustic guitars. So they have like that's what he played, and uh, so we have about five or six different guitars for different scenes. I'm sorry, can you, what what the hell are you doing? Over here? I want to hear the Gibson guitar story. All you hear is- <laughs> Wait, you're wrapping Nick up with the, yeah, the I, headphone cord. We are, you can, you can, you can, this is a very well polished show here. You'll never be allowed on Broadway. A, he, Nick's never going to come back. Like, these people Shut are. You're not allowing me to. These people are. To the fo- chair. We're fools in this place. Sorry, we don't have an engineer here today. Okay. As you can tell, we, we don't have to use you. Un- <laughs> we don't have to use union engineers. Obviously, this is nice. Look at this. I like this little setup. Are you okay? People have no idea what's going on. <laughs> well, no, you should see this. It's like, yeah. uh, I, I don't know. What, what do we do? <clears throat> hey, hey. Oh, okay, all right. Yep, that, is that loud? <laughs> well, you're, you're, it's red. The thing is, the meters are red. Is that, is that good? <laughs> I got you. I got you. Tell me when to start. I I'll start. I bet your sound crew at the, at the show is just yeah, as bad. This is, this is tremendous. I've had a lot worse, actually. <laughs> You haven't. Oh, yes, I have. All right, so Nick Fradiani and his guitar. All right, we're going to do some Neil Diamond. I'll do full Neil Diamond impersonation, all right? Okay. Here we go. Where it began. Well, I can't begin to know when. But then I know it's growing strong. It's kind of easier to do it in the morning. It was in the spring And spring became the summer Who'd have believed he'd come along Now here's what you guys can help me Hands Hands Touching hands Reaching out Touching me Caroline. Oh my God! Yeah. 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 Even I, strapped I, to this chair, you know. I That's love that. Work. I have never felt so white <laughs> in my that life. Was so awesome. that that was. Was. Me neither. That's crazy. She went from brown to white. Oh my God! You, you do, you, you do sound like him. Yeah, it's crazy. It, no, it's, it's kind of creepy in a way. Thank you. <laughs> do you take requests? Oh yeah. Okay, I'd like to hear a little. America. Uh, 
America? No. Or oh Cracklin' Rosie. Oh. Cracklin' Rosie. I would tell, I would tell Scary to pay you. Turn on your hotline. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Uh, no, I, I was not prepared for this, but let's No, no, what, uh, don't do something that makes you uncomfortable. Oh, no, I don't care. Or it embarrasses yourself. <laughs> we, can, we can't hear Put you. Put this down. Turn. Guitar down. Yeah. Oh, you've messed up our engineering work. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Far. We've been traveling far. Without a home. But not without a star. Oh, free, only want to be free. We huddle close, we hang on to a dream. I think it goes to G here. On the boats and on the planes, they're coming to America. We don't do this part. They're coming to America. Home. There's a cut in the mu- uh, never mind. Yeah. That was awesome. That was awesome. You know, it, it, people, when you hear things like this or go to a show like like this, you forget how many hits this guy has. Right. That's yeah. what I was just gonna I mean, say. You know it's that? Crazy. Uh, I, do you know that he wrote this song? Um, uh, wait. Oh my God. Um, Lauren, what song am I thinking of? Uh, <laughs> Read his mind quickly. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah. I thought love was only true in fairy tale. Really? Neil Diamond wrote it. Wrote it. Oh, yeah. Meant for someone else, but not for me. Love was out to get me. That's the way it seemed. Disappointment haunted all my dreams. And then I saw her face. And now I'm a yeah, that was Neil. He wrote that. Wow. Gave it to the monkey. Yeah. This is incredible. Is so cool. Another one. Another one. You're not gonna believe. This one freaked me out. Um, uh, What's that song again? <laughs> red, red wine. Really? Really? Yeah. Stay close to me. He wrote that. That's Neil Diamond. Wow. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Yeah. This guy's rolling in cash. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Right. He was a genius songwriter. He so really was. I can imagine. While this show is going on. When another hit starts coming out of your mouth, mm-hmm. the audience just goes berserk. Bananas. They but do. bananas. Just they crazy. Love, they love Neil. He's got a lot of fans. They really, uh, they, they love him. And uh, and it's cool because, you know, unfortunately, he can't perform anymore. So this is kind of like, for the people that want to see him still or have seen him their whole lives, they can come see the show. And it's it's basically like you're seeing him uh, in concert throughout the, and it goes uh, through many, many years of his life. Did he wow. have to approve you? Um... I know this time around, yes. Um, again, like w- once I was taking over the role, but I'm not sure in terms of when I was the alternate or not. But I have met him many times and spoke to him. Oh and wow! It, wow. It was pretty. It's pretty cool. It's pretty so, cool. here's a weird question. You're going to be doing this for at least a year, mm-hmm. eight shows a week, mm-hmm. sounding like Neil Diamond. Right? Can Nick Fraudiani sound like Nick Fraudiani anymore? <laughs> I mean, <clears throat> it's like it's Austin funny. Butler yeah. with Elvis. Right. Yeah, exactly. Can you pop out of my, this? My, uh, my buddy Nick Abraham, who I wrote, he, he's been here before, the yeah. guy with the beard, and he yeah. played guitar for me. And we, we just put an album out together uh, writing. Uh, he was a co-writer and producer with me back in November of 22. And um, when I started doing this, he was like, we, we, we do a couple shows in between. And he's like, don't go into the Neil voice on our songs. Because like, sometimes like you just... Well, yeah, you forget, but but I just sang at my sister's wedding, and she asked me to sing one of my own songs, and I my dad said it was nice to hear your own voice there. So, God. so you got to get tickets. A beautiful noise, the musical dot com. Now, when do you officially start? October on Halloween, October thirty first well, is my yeah. first uh, start. Wow. Thank you. My God, how excited are you? I'm 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 very excited. I really am. This is. This is a big deal. I know. I I, I was saying, you know, if you told me uh, seven years ago that I would be doing musical theater on Broadway, I'd have truly laughed at you. And so well, this is a... It, it's, what got it's, you into it? I mean, you could just stay in studios and do concerts and, and never, ever step foot on a Broadway stage and act, mm-hmm. but you're doing it. What got you into it? Well, I got a... <laughs> it's funny. It was 2019, and I got a Facebook message on my uh fan page from a uh, casting director that wanted to have me come in for a work session to do a Bronx Tale and uh, so I did that for a year almost and that just kind of got me hooked into it and and to be honest with you I mean I've been 
have you know I won Idol in 2015 and you know I've had a very up and down career and it's been really frustrating at times and I think I found out in life that I just really love to perform and this is just kind of I'm just trying to find all different avenues to continue to do that and so cool. I was so lucky that you know, I just never gave up, and I try. I'm still doing my own thing, but this has been a cool way to just kind of keep moving forward, and and so it's been it's been a blessing to to be able to do it. Because I always, you know, when uh, Adam Lambert was last here, and we we're good friends, and it's like, what's it like playing Freddie Mercury? Mm-hmm. So crazy, you know. And uh, in it, that's a whole different thing because Freddie Mercury no longer with us. Mm-hmm. But then going out on tour with the with band, their band, I know. And now you're doing. I mean, a legend, Neil Diamond, a legend. That's that's heavy. I mean, I mean, that's. I mean, you gotta like walk into this with all nothing but respect for yeah, Mr. For Diamond. Sure. I definitely don't take it, it lightly. And when I go out there, you know, not only do I know people, you know, spend a lot of money to see the show, but also, you know, like you said, you're you're kind of continuing the legacy of somebody that currently can't perform, and this is their music and their story. So I try to every single night give it like a hundred percent. It's not always easy to do, but it's. Um, but once I'm out there, you know, sometimes it's hard to get going when you do something like that every day or, or a lot. But once you're out there, it just like the adrenaline. It's it's such a fun show, and the people are are you feel like you're at a concert. So it's wow. it's a lot of fun. So this is the show. You got to go see. I Nick. think there's like a field trip coming for yeah, us. Yeah, I feel yeah, yeah. coming. You just field let trip. me know any any time you guys want to go. Please tell me. Yes. I'd love love to have you guys. Oh, there. I'd love so to come amazing. as your yeah. guest. But I, I usually get my own tickets because I can get better tickets than any of you actually. <laughs> <laughs> I really do. Oh, I really. Okay. Not, Jeez, that's a I lot really. Of you think you can get me? To see. I'm Elvis. always like you know, the best each other. Right, that's what I'm talking about. Now I know who to call when I need tickets to another Broadway show. Yeah, call me. Big Daddy. Big Daddy gets the best. <laughs> no, in all sincerity, thank you, Nick. <laughs> Nick Fradiani, uh, what uh, people, you should see what people are saying. I feel like we're listening to Neil Diamond Live. This is the best segment ever. How do I get my tickets? Uh, uh, look at this. Amazing. Loving you. I'd love to hear Brother uh, oh. Brother Loves Traveling Salvage Show. That's also in the show. That's a fun one. I will tell you, my favorite song of all time was with two of my favorite performers of all time, who both had great Christmas albums, both Jewish. <laughs> Neil Diamond and Barbra Streisand, and you don't bring me flowers anymore. Uh, one of those, why are you laughing? Get out of here. Time out for you. It's one of those beautiful songs ever written. Sad, gripping song. It is. Yeah, go listen to it. Every night we that we do that song, you hear the crowd do a, an actual like, <gasps> every night. They're wow. like, so I would, it's the funniest thing. I would, I would break down. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful I would, song. I would roll down the aisle in, in <laughs> tears. And, Anyway, Nick Fradiani, uh, here's where you go, a beautiful noise, the musical.com. Or if you, if you can't remember this and you're driving, uh, Google Broadway show Neil Diamond. You'll, well, you'll find it, okay? Get these tickets starting uh, Halloween night. Nick Fradiani starring as Neil Diamond, a beautiful noise, the musical.com. Thank you for coming. Thank out. you so much. You guys are great. Tell Thank your dad you. I said hi. I will. The Mercedes Benz Interview Lounge.